Okay, so we continue with the Dragon Age, the Velgard, <laughs> uh, the comic, the, uh, the comedic relief <laughs> of the Dragon Age corner. So, yeah, <laughs> welcome to my channel again. Uh, it's me, the Lines to Ghosts, and um, we are playing the Velgard. Let's go. <laughs> It's just beautiful. The environment is absolutely breathtaking as you should. I should have taken the shot. That would have made things worse. You don't know that. All you have are guesses. We're up against something unfamiliar, working with more rumors than facts. Of course that's all I have. I should have taken the shot. But well, let's say that we all carry the blame. <laughs> you didn't take the shot. I destroyed the statue. Who do you want to blame more for the outcome? We all did what we thought was best in the moment. And look where it got us. Tried to stop the world from being swallowed by chaos, and now it might be swallowed by chaos anyway. Elven gods escape from their prison, Solus is in your head, and we're scrambling to figure out what to do. And Varric? Varric knew the risks. He knew what it might cost. We're still standing. The fight's not over. You know, I like that about you, Lace. You don't stop fighting. You push for answers and action. While I can get stuck on questions forever. Well, we need someone who can put the pieces of the puzzle together. We're fighting the unknown. Exactly. Everyone has a part to play. Varric brought us together because of our strengths. You see... Up to this point, until uh, Rook opened his mouth in this specific moment, it was well written. That is, that was well written, dialogue-wise. That was like what would you expect from a Dragon Age IP, and it's just laughable that you see that on a few places throughout the game so far. And most of the times, it's just missing. Like, there's like 20 to 30% really, really well written dialogues that, you know, make you feel something like it did right now. Like, we are responsible for what is happening to Tidus right now. And um, it was our mistake that we disrupted the ritual. But we did that because we thought that was the best thing to do at that point. This is exactly what you want to catch up when uh, uh, when you're writing a fantasy, when you're writing a story, when you're writing a book. This is exactly what you want to catch up. But here, like when everything was going so well, and you are start and you like uh, and uh, you are starting like. Uh, getting into the game it just completely kicks you out back into reality when something like that is said he wanted a team he could rely on we have to be that team play to our strengths and yeah. rely on each other I think that I can manage that ball. then let's find Solace's dagger it'll be a start it started so well and it just got ruined. Like, especially the last one. Like, you could have stopped there. Like, leave that linger with the player about their choices, about, well, about their character choices and how big a mistake he made. That is the dark, gritty part that most players look for in a dark fantasy like. I can feel lingering magic. The Powerful magic. The dagger was here. Something took it. And I'm disappointed, to be honest. I'm disappointed that they didn't keep that quality for the entire game. Obviously they can. Yeah. 
or maybe it was just <laughs> a chance here. Dark spawn. Oh no, what if it took the dagger? That it happened. One way to find out. And I just want to clarify here, I want to add something very important here that most players don't uh, really catch up on. They just mention it in their uh, in their reviews, in their like uh, cons. But uh, this is obviously a game that is meant with a linear type of story. And you cannot bash the game for that. You cannot do that. I mean, yes. The game was made as a linear type of story, and there is nothing wrong about it. There is nothing quite bad about it. Big dark spawn coming great. And this shouldn't be a con. This should be a pro because let's be real. When you have a good story and you want to tell that story in a specific way, you want to follow. A specific wine and you want the user the reader the player in this case to go through that specific way in that story and that is exactly what we as writers do as well when we write our books you know we write our stories uh, to make you experience a world via a character that we've made and face that character with uh, with challenges on the way and uh, love interest and stuff like that and this is exactly what we should do as writers we should be able to guide you through this world via a character through his eyes and make you consider what would you do in this case if it was you and this same psychology you can pretty much apply here in this game as well it's a linear story and there's nothing wrong about it. Like one of the best games that was ever written, uh, well, not one game, several games, one of the best games in the world that were written extremely well, were exactly a linear type of game. Like Dragon Age Origins, that was a linear type of game. You had a specific story to follow and you had the side quests that you could do and you know uh, get yourself familiar with the world with the orders and so on and there was nothing wrong with it dragon age 2 was exactly the same way constructed and dragon age inquisition as well you had a linear story that you had to follow and you had to complete in a specific way because you have to experience that story and there's nothing wrong about it but but I want to add here that this doesn't mean that you cannot construct a very well written story or very well written game. Uh, if you like plays, uh, if you like give more freedom to the player. And most players like that. They like the freedom. And I don't see anything wrong with that either. It's just up to the player's preferences. Let's say it like that. If you prefer a linear story, you will enjoy it. If you prefer a more like freedom type of story, we will, we will not enjoy it that much, but you will still enjoy it because it's a good story. But, well, <laughs> the real guard is not a good story, but yeah, well, it has like pluses and minuses. Like I like the whole setup to some extent, but it, had, it could have been so much more. <laughs> Uh, but it's still early. <laughs> let's see how the whole story will unveil and let's continue. At us. Come down here, big boy. This looks more like a demon. <laughs> like, more like the original demon that we know. 
But it's not, it's not a demon, it's a spawn. <laughs> After that ghoul, let's get this gate open. Look up there, that magical device. Oh, anyway, that, uh, yeah, uh, if the story is written well, it doesn't matter if it's a linear or more like a free type story, you will still enjoy it as a consumer because it's not because something um, like uh, if it's well written, that is very important thing. If it's well written, you will definitely enjoy it. There is no doubt about it. Good work. Let's keep on the trail. So it's not like the way the story is presented, uh, like the way the story is stopped, like a linear type of story. That is not the problem, the problem is the story itself. And it could have been a lot more, that is true, but so far, it's a stressful one. I'm enjoying it to some extent, putting aside the dialogue because Dark the dialogue is the... don't usually collect things, do they? They don't to my knowledge. Because, um... Uh, yeah, they're talking again, like too much. But this is important, actually, than what they're talking about. So I like that. There is mentioned like a war thingy. Uh, but yeah, if the story is good, uh, it doesn't matter if it's a linear or a free story. You will still enjoy it as a consumer. There is like no doubt about it. So this is dagger is special. That is not the problem. Likely. <laughs> it's a linear story, <laughs> so I would expect it to be this way, you know. If I remember correctly, the Dark Spawns uh, were taking extra damage uh, from fire, if I'm not mistaken, from Dragon Age Origins. I wish I could see that more clearly here. More dark spawn coming out of those pools. Take downs. Much damage. <laughs> I'm bad. <laughs> oh god, that was a nice takedown. Did you find the dagger? I don't think these dark spawn took it. Let's keep looking. Let's get full health. Uh, give me that. 
health potion. I need it. Man, it's just breathtaking to see this environment over and over again. Like, look how beautiful it is. I can, I just cannot get enough of it. I'm someone that really, really loves nature, and uh, when I'm playing a fantasy game like uh, Dragon Age, I have to have such breathtaking views to fully immerse in the game because they are simply beautiful. And they make me relax as well. <laughs> but I guess for it, this is only one of the few <laughs> good things about Dragon Age <laughs> so far. Over there, a dagger thief. Ugh, more blade in the like, way. I saw like a chest around there, but I couldn't get it. I wonder if I can go like around it and get it this way or something. Let's check out. Medium and heavy, but we don't have like a warrior, like a white type. Uh, maybe the com my companions have the option to wear something like that. No, that's keepsake. That's trinkets. Hmm. Uh, this one was the jumper. Yep. Critical damage, cooldown duration, cooldown duration, okay, this is the moment. Barrier, damage versus barrier, plus 50%, yeah, I will make you like that, breaking barriers. Cooldown, and feebling, okay. That will give you, and we will put that, oh wait, it's already here. Can I just see if I can change it? Oh fuck. Yeah, that, that is something that I dislike about this game already. Uh, what do we have? Ah, there we go. So we have a bow here. So Harding. Yeah, I will concentrate with you on healing mostly. Ooh, I have two points. Out, or then release it at maximum charge. Oh, so you have to hold it down. Okay, so we'll go this way. Oh, this is one is important, but I want to get to the to the tempest as soon as possible. So critical damage, dagger from abilities. And I need more staggers, so most like I will go this way. Okay. But 
I'm still triggered that I cannot use as often as I want my ma my ma my magic, my magical skills. Even though I'm a mage, like seriously, <laughs> why would you do that? Why would you like restrict that much the mage? Oh wait, <laughs> there is no fall damage. It seems. I was expecting quite to get a bit of damage, but still find myself at the bottom, but I guess this wasn't in the developer's plans. Okay, let's just continue. No comment on that. <laughs> Nicely done. I mean, it's gross, but you can't argue with results. True that. Ooh, finally, something that we can actually use. I'm not a huge fan of poison ascent, necromantic type of damage. It's just not my playstyle as a mage. Magical beams. There are two of these devices this time. I can see I bet that we'll need to direct beams at both of them. I can see, thank you. Well, I didn't see the second one, but I did see the first one. You could have just said, why? You know, there's like, I don't know, something that <laughs> it wouldn't piss me off that much. I mean, I can see the white beam, and I could have, like, you could have triggered like your second part when I get up there and I was wondering like what should I do and then you could have said something like there was like a second white across it how he can get to it or something like that. That's one. Now to find the other. How do you do? How do I get there or something like that? But yeah. What the fuck? What is that pathetic jump? Seriously? And that is because the, the jump is not on space, by the way, developers. Yeah. It's on the fucking F instead of, you know, space. Like 90% of the games, 95% even of the games use, use space for jump. Good work. Now let's see what's behind that gate. It's pissing me off, really, really. When game developers do not consider even the most simple things like 
across the branch. I do not like this Frost magic. <laughs> well, no, it's not exactly that I don't like it. It's more like it's not my usual cup of tea. <laughs> Regardless, to come back on this jump, for God's sake, when you make a jump, put it on the damn space, not on the damn F, F that we usually use for actions, for example, or when we want to use like a whoop or a special site to see what is like, uh, what, where are the, the tails and so on, that is when you use F, not with a jump, that's for sure. Okay. Oh, let's continue. Wish I could clean all that white now. Okay. Yo. Ew! What the? Look at that pet coating! <laughs> okay, okay. I can see the, the meaning behind it. <laughs> I can safely say that most likely the environment was. Uh, most likely by a man. Not in person, it could be a woman. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. It could be a woman. I've seen quite a beautiful inspiration type of art as well, so no judging there. I just feel like the tentacles that are more like a man type of looking games. For obvious reasons. <laughs> Cut through that. We're not alone. Man, I swear this jump though. It's so limiting, so weird. Like how why why can't you do like normal jump? I like wood, don't judge me. And I did get a medium arm, it seems. Here though the question, why do I get like medium armor and probably heavy armor in the future? Like what is the point? I'm a mage, you know? Oh wait, this gives more damage. Oh well. We're forced to use <laughs> the ice type of, ma of magic. Um, anyway, why do I get like medium type of armors? Considering that I cannot provide them to my uh, companions, I don't think I can. Yeah, I cannot do that. Harding. Yep, definitely cannot do that. Yeah. 
100% cannot do that. So why do I get as a mage medium type farmers? What 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 would I do with them? Like why would I use them? They're like fighting with some kind of defenses. Don't get me wrong. But the point of a mage is to be like uh, the damage doer of the party or a healer. Maybe one of the maybe one of the specializations uh, calls for it. Let's check it out. So we have spell blades. Okay, I can hear on the spell on the spell blade usage of medium armor, I guess. Invoke a trend on Minrato streets. The Shadow Dragon the Invoker uses eyes to control the battlefield to deliver powerful magical attacks to take down. This sounds like a typical mage. And wait, where are the ice magical attacks? This seems more like a black hole attack. Ability and Tropic Sphere. Vortex of Shadow. Yeah, this is not this this is not an ice ability. Yeah, this is definitely not an ice ability. Two fires. Okay. Knight of Stuffs. Yeah, okay. Knight of Stuffs would use like a heavy type of armor. Okay. Bomb Chewer. Okay, so this one here, the Evoker class, I would most likely call it more call it more like uh, 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 a gravity type of, of uh, caster, not an ice mage. This is simply not an ice mage uh, type of uh, uh, type of uh, play. It's clearly gravity oriented. That pulls. You see that it pulls enemies. It traps them. And then this one is just creates a black hole in the middle of it. There is nothing. I see about it. Nothing. Yeah, in the black hole it might be like ultra cold like in space. On absolute zero, but it's gravity magic, it's not ice magic. Dead color. With knowledge from the necropolis, the more large dead color uses Yeah, that's the necromancer, okay. And I'm not going for that class. <laughs> I'm telling you right away. That I'm not going for that class, that's for sure. How did I miss you? Oh, because I jumped from over there. I didn't go. I didn't get all the way down here. Okay. That has to be the ghoul we're tracking. Better hope it still has the dagger. From what I can see, not really. Yeah, the fire damage did more damage on the dark Fireware, please, please make the mana regenerate a lot more bigger. <laughs> I am not fucking mage, I cannot cast spells. Yeah, I don't think that you should be touching that, huh? Lyrium. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> and she's not dead. I can bet on that. She's like too important. Proclamation! Is... Is... 
sad too though. This sounds so Indian. Uh no Indian, I'm sorry. Uh, I have to be honest. I can hear it. The song of the stone. The song of the stone. What is happening to me? What you're talking about? <laughs> to shoot turn them in stone, what the? or to shoot throws them. I guess that dance was that. <laughs> she definitely throws them or something. Are you moving those rocks? Oh, there we go. We have primers and detonators to prepare detonations. Okay. Wow. I'm ready. Oh, there we go. I was about to say, is there like... Um, is there like... There we go. Like a hint how I can use those, so I can like, you know, detonate them and stuff like that. Oh wait, this is just wrong. There we go, we want on this one. Ooh, I like that. That is powerful. They're coming from the right. Stay down. I don't have mana! Like seriously! Fucking blow him up! Yeah! Exactly like that! or a tank to my fucking party because Bioware decided not to give them up to me. From the beginning of the game... Look out! 
Because my man is not recovering fast enough. But this thing like teleporting around the whole map. Man, you are annoying. Like seriously annoying. That that dagger. What did it do to me? Not sure. But we should get back. We'll talk it through there. Your pet has failed, sister. And now the magic of the Dreadwolf's dagger is hidden from me. Fen Harel meddles once again. If his dagger is beyond our reach, we must craft another. Made of red lyrium. Okay. It just teleports me back to the White House. You said something took you over. Mm, something like that? And it's still with you? Y yes. I think so. It can't be possession, can it? I doubt it. Dwarves can't be possessed. They aren't connected to the Fade. Solus's dagger triggered this event. But how? Or why? I'm sorry, Lace. I wish I had answers. It's all right. Talking has helped. And hey, we got the dagger, right? Mission accomplished. Dwarves have never used magic. We can't. So I'll have to comment here on this because it's one of the huge uh, controversies out there about uh, the trolls. So in Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age 2 we find out through war that trolls, uh, trolls cannot use magic, they cannot cast magic. However, those who have read the, the war about Dragon Age and Tedious and uh, some of the on the uh, some of the war books i believe it was but i'm not but i'm not 100 percent certain but i do remember that in one of the books in dragon age origins exactly while i was at the droves uh in the droves capital uh i remember that i read a book which faintly referred to a time where droves could use magic well magic like their magic like stone magic crystal magic like connect with the earth so to speak and this is here is touched on that and I'm happy because even though that Dragon Age 2 and Dragon Age Origins was quite uh, iron about um, about the droves and uh, that they cannot use magic these days or at that time in the past actually war wise they could they could, uh, they could have done that. Like they could, uh, they could uh, use magic in the past, but they lost that knowledge. And I have to be, I have to say that I'm happy to, to see that happening here because it's something that it was from the original game in one of the books, like War book, that you had to really, really, really search, go through all the books, and dig deep into it to find the answer to that. And I believe that most of the people couldn't like uh, go to that book or something like that, but it was mentioned in that book that there was a time when Rose 
were connected to magic and get, could use magic, but not in the way that uh, the circle, the mages, of, uh, the circle mages use it. Uh, but yeah, uh, so it's not why I can hurt uh, for draws to be able to use magic. It's just it was a very, very, very long time ago, like a lot of knowledge, like centuries ago. It's not the magic I know. What do you mean? Exactly. It's clearly stone focused, which makes sense. Dwarves are children of the stone. Mages connect to the Fade. Dwarves reach out to the stone? Maybe? Maybe. <sighs> I guess we don't have any real answers. It's a wonderful gift. You must be proud. But I didn't do anything to earn this. How could I be proud? I don't even know how it happened. It's all a little strange, but not in a bad way. I feel... connected. To... To the... To the stone. Dwarves call ourselves children of the stone. Some of us have what we call stone sense. Those that have it can feel caves, lyrium veins, and faults in the rock. I wasn't one of them. Maybe the dagger unlocks something hidden. But but this is more than the stone sense I know. I hope you're right that this is a gift. <sighs> I'd be heartbroken if it caused problems. Once more, start so great by conversing you in how she feels. And then in the middle, it just switch completely into the opposite direction with her repeating the same thing and going for the same thing it's just it's not the way to, to type dialogue it was more than enough for her to say one two sentences to show her to show us how she feels so we can feel her pain her surprise or whatever you want to call it and that is enough you don't have to go and take like two more sentences just so you can have like more uh, more uh, dialogue in the game it's, it, it's just not necessary. Like, absolutely not necessary. Like, the reader and the listener in this case, because we're listeners, we can hear, we can comprehend. No need to repeat it several times. One is more than enough. And if we want to be repeated, we'll just click on the same option and ask the same question. Please give us more information about that, for example. <laughs> you see, I want to select this exact option because this you are not a problem because this is how I feel. But then I see the heart, and now that this is a flirting, and I don't want to flirt with her. I trust you. I Let's trust you that. have all this handled. You always have things handled. I just hope I can use this magic to do what's right. I have faith. I'll send word to the Grey Wardens about the blight we saw. And then I'm gonna lie down. And we need more answers about what the gods are planning. I'll find some place to relax and try to reach solace in the Fade. Good luck. Try not to let him get to you. It feels like we're finally making some progress. And I'm not sure what my new magic's about, but... I know it feels... right. With their eyes on the Dreadwolf and the gods he'd set loose, they couldn't see their own personal demons coming to haunt them. Harding told herself it felt right. She was connected to the stone, to the lost titans, and all of dwarven history with its buried secrets. How could that be anything but good? Okay, I'm in truth. What's this hand? And who's rising? Quest complete. The singing blade. The team returned to Solus ritual site, hoping to find the Lyrium dagger that Solus lost. 
They pried the ancient artifact away from the darkspawn ghouls that were drawn to it, but touching the dagger has had, has had a profound effect on Harding, seemingly rekindling a forgotten link between her and the stone. What this means for Harding remains to be seen. Okay. Guess I should find some place to try to talk to Solus. Oh, we are level 6 now. Nice. Yeah, I wanted to get this one. And then we'll go for... For the stagger, maybe. Or for the critical damage. We shall see. We need both of those, though. Anyway. When I'm going to get the Tempest? It would take forever. Okay, Harding. Oh. Velgard skill. Achieve hero of the Velgard status to unlock it. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do with Harding, though? What do we want her to be? Like, a hewer? Yeah, it sounds about right. I could use her as a hewer, to be honest. Oh, extra elfwood cannot be acquired if the skill is purchased. Oh, okay, so you have to click, choose one of those two. When activated, the first instance of healing is increased by 150. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one's definitely more superior to this one. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, we got a dagger. Oh well, I'm sorry, a bow, a bow for here for her. Oh, I believe that I remember that maybe it was in the war in like in the war section of Dragon Age Origins. I'm not 100% certain, but I believe this is uh, that that was where you could read about the draws and find out that they're connected to the stone and they. At one point in history, centuries ago, controlled the stone or something like that. I don't remember the exact words, but I do remember that I've read it, and I know that the, it, that it does exist in the in, in the history of Dragon Age. Uh, just it was never fully explored in any of the previous games. It was just hinted at here and there, but never fully explored. Uh, fully explored. Okay, so. This video has been like 50 minutes long and the mission is completed so I'm going to end the video here and continue with the next mission. Uh, thank you for joining me. Feel free to like, comment, dislike if you don't like the content or and of course subscribe if you've enjoyed my coverage and my game playthrough. Um, if there is nothing else... Well that sounds just wrong. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, or dislike, and see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>